Alright guys, welcome back to the channel if you're new. My name is Bobby. Wow! I never thought I will say those words again, but here we are. How is everybody doing? I am back. Which leads us to the question, where have I been? Where was Bobby's perspective for around about two whole months? Guys, many conspiracy theories, many people online thought I got deleted, I got banned off YouTube. Some people thought that was because of my anti-vegan content, I was just too much of a bully. Other people, such as Vegana Pains, think it was due to psychedelic drug content. Alright. Other people again thought that because of Francesca Tiffany, I got deleted of YouTube. Guys, let me tell you, let me cut the story short. No, it was not due to Francesca. Francesca didn't sue me. Francesca didn't do anything. Francesca was too busy doing ungodly things to her own body in front of thousands of men for money. That is that. But this is not the topic of today. Guys, where have I been? If you are a true supporter of Bobby's perspective, then you already know where I was. Because let's be honest, I announced this months and months ago. I announced that I'm gonna be offline for a while. That I'm gonna maybe even disappear off YouTube at some point. But definitely have a little pause. I said it numerous times. So when I went offline, the hardcore supporters, they knew that I was taking a break. So what was this break about? Guys, I went on a pilgrimage to the holy mountain, Mount Athos in Greece. But that is another story for another day, for another video. Once I have the time to sit down, I will make a whole video about Mount Athos. The experience itself was nothing short of breathtaking, of course. So that was the main reason I want to go on a pilgrimage. However, I didn't feel good about leaving my channel online whilst being away. I know that might sound a little bit strange, but it is the truth. I want to vanish off the internet completely and off this world. I just want to leave everything behind and die a digital ego death, if you will. And so I did. I had plenty of time to replenish my energy, to recharge my batteries, so to speak. My channel, before I made the decision, developed into something that I myself didn't really respect any longer. I know, I know, you guys love the reaction videos and I understand it to an extent. It is fun, right, to poke some vegans, I get it. However, for me personally, it became very, very monotonous, repetitive and just plain boring. At some point I couldn't do it any longer and even the positive feedback, which I have to say I appreciate a lot, I love you guys, thank you for your positive feedback. However, after a while I found myself in a place where I couldn't even appreciate the positive feedback any longer because I myself wasn't happy with the work that I was putting out in the world. When I look back on my life, I always had a huge change pretty much every single year. Since I can think, there was always something new in my life. Be it bodybuilding, be it martial arts, be it parties, be it whatever. There was always a huge shift every year. And with being that anti-vegan, I found myself boxed in. Of course, I still tried to 
put out other content, for example, about Christian orthodoxy, which resonated very positively with many people. But this showed me how much I would love to give you guys positivity and not to focus on other people. When I look at vegans nowadays, and even back then when I was watching and critiquing their videos, I felt true compassion and true pain in my heart. I felt really, really sad. If you really watched my videos in their totality, you would have seen that every single reaction video started on a positive note, it was lighthearted, it was fun, but then after a while I would get sad, I would really get sad because I would feel the suffering of those tormented souls. I've been through it, I've been a vegan for four years, I've seen it all, and now guys, Lent just passed by. And I fasted again for Easter. In Orthodox tradition, that is eating vegan, believe it or not. Yes, God has humor. God made me fast vegan. The anti-vegan went vegan. And let me tell you, it was terrifying. Because all of that suffering that I've been through for years, I had to endure again. My digestion got wrecked. I got nervous, anxious, paranoid, brain fog, the whole spiel. You know exactly the side effects of veganism. I got them all in the matter of a couple of days. It was terrible. I'm so glad, I'm grateful to God that I can eat meat again. Believe me that. Anyways, I went on a tangent here. The point of the story is that I felt so much suffering, so much pain, agony, sadness watching those vegans. And I'm not here to judge. Only God can judge. We can critique if we choose to. We have a free will. But we are not the ultimate judge. No matter what we say, no matter what we think about people, it does not matter. Only God can judge. Therefore, where is Bobby's perspective headed? What will happen now? More reaction videos, no reaction videos, more anti-vegan content, no anti-vegan content, more religious content? Quite frankly, guys, we will see. We will see. I don't have any plans this time around for YouTube. And with that, I'm returning to the true nature of Bobby's perspective. The way that it was in the beginning. Just me and my phone. When you listen to this video, I think we will still be in lockdown. Due to the lockdown, due to the cor... Oh, I, uh, oopsie, I can't even say it. Due to the, let's call it Kuratz. Let's call it Kuratz virus. Because of the Kuratz virus, my brothers know exactly what I'm talking about. I had to leave Mount Athos and I couldn't return to the place that I was staying in before. I had to come back to Germany because I'm a German citizen. That said, I had to leave all of my stuff. I have no laptop. I left all my clothes, everything, everything, everything that you can imagine microphone, equipment, headphones, everything. So right now, all I have is this phone. If I get lucky, I can use the laptop to upload this. We came full circle. Three years ago, Bobby's perspective started just like this, with no plan, with no direction, just my perspective. Hence the channel's name. All I had was my phone and my mouth that would always run and never quit, never stop talking. This is what God gave me. I have my mouth. Therefore, for better or worse, <laughs> I will express my feelings, my thoughts, my perspective yet again. Unfiltered, 
unedited here on YouTube. So now I've been talking for over 10 minutes. I think I'm gonna cut it off here. I'm sure that I forgot many, many things that I wanted to talk about initially, but that is all right. I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions as well. So please feel free to address it in the comment section and I will answer hopefully all of them. Now, for the near future, I really do hope that I can get a laptop in order to have another live stream with you guys. I miss the live streams more than anything because having a monologue here, hello, only goes so far. Interacting with you guys was always my biggest passion. That was always the most fun. It was amazing. I truly miss the live streams, the weekly live streams that we had. And I look forward to the future and hope that we can have many, many, many more of them. Other than that, as I said, we will see where this channel is headed. If you have any ideas, hey, please let me know in the comment section as well. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. Hey, if you like that I'm back, leave me a thumbs up. If not, leave me a thumbs down. Guys, may God bless you all as always. Much love and peace.